Howdy. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and welcome to my fantasy video. <laughs> I was like, oh man, there are actually like quite a few things that I kind of want right now. Um, part of it is I haven't been buying a lot lately and also I've been making more videos and so there's just this like balance that I'm trying to strike. And anyways, I was like, oh, well, I can't buy all of this, but I could talk about what I would do if I had $1,000 to spend at Sephora. I just kind of randomly chose $1,000 um, because it seemed like a nice round number and also like a ridiculous amount. Like I, I you know, I'm not going to be spending $1,000 at Sephora. So this is a fantasy video about if I had $1,000 to spend at Sephora, what would I buy? Um, and honestly, the the first thing that sort of made this video happen or the idea was that I'm looking for and here let's see I will put I'll put everything up or would it be better over here it's gonna be better over here okay <laughs> so I'm gonna put up um what I'm looking at on my screen here in fact I should do a I'll do screenshots I'll do screenshots for you anyways um the thing that brought this video up is the um, high glam brightening and hydrating concealer. I have been wanting to try this concealer for ever, forever. And I think that this shade seems to be the one. Anyways, I want to take, um, the concealers that I kind of like the shade of, which are the NARS Creamy Concealer in Nuitine and, uh, my... Lancome Tante Dole Ultra Wear in, I think it's 215. Anyway, um, just in case you're a shade match with me. Anyways, I think this YP3 light yellow is going to work. Anyway, I would love to swatch that at the store, which I might do someday. Uh, all right. And then, so the next thing that I have here, oh, I would totally get this is so boring but um my two mascaras i get minis of these guys and this is the monsieur big uh by lancome and it comes in a mini and my roller lash and this is for top lashes and bottom lashes because i like the uh wand on this better for my bottom lashes it's a little easier to get in there but this one has more volume Anywho, I would get one of each of those and replenish those. Um, <clears throat> look how practical I'm being. And then, okay, so I would totally get the Mothership 11 uh, Sunlit Seduction Palette. I, when this first came out, I just wasn't interested. And then at Christmas time, I saw it in person and I was like, oh, Actually, that's kind of pretty, and now I'm curious. So, if I had a thousand dollars to spend, sure, yeah, why not? Throw it in the cart. All right. <laughs> uh, next thing. Oh, I really like my Fenty Matchstick. In I have it in the shade Amber. I'm actually wearing it today as my contour, and it's just a really nice shade for contour. And I've just been kind of curious to try a deeper one for like more, if I want to be like much more dramatic with things. And so I would probably pick up the um, Amber Suede shade or, no, that's the one. It's Amber Suede. I just want to try another one. I like, I like the one that I have. I want to try another shade. Maybe just compare them. All right. The next thing that I have been wanting to try since it came out is this um, Dior blush. I have the Dior quad highlight. Um, here, I'll put a picture of that up. I can find it here. This Backstage Glow palette, and I think it's so beautiful. Um, I don't know, and so I'm curious to see what that pink blush looks like. If you saw, I had a video up um, about like getting suggestions from you, uh, and one of the things I want is this certain like very light pink blush. Although the new Natasha Denona, this guy, um, 
kind of has that and it's like very airbrush looking actually I'm I'm pretty into it I've been uh, I've been using this anywho uh, moving back to this yeah I would um, I want to try this blush I'm curious about this shade it feels like the shade that I sometimes want that I don't have although it does kind of look like um, another blush that I have but then I can compare them anyway Oh, and then this Tower 28 Beauty, um, on that same video where I was asking for suggestions, I mentioned that I want to try a brown mascara and somebody um, so kindly suggested that they use the Tower 28 mascara and really like it and that they have a brown and so um, that they hadn't tried the brown but they, they like the black and so I thought, okay, well, yeah, let's add that to the cart. I want a brown mascara. I just, I really want one. Uh, so I'd love to try that. And then, um, okay, <laughs> these milk makeup, um, what are they called? Cooling water jelly tint lip and cheek blush stain. I just, they look fun. I think it's so gimmicky and yeah, I don't know. It just looks like candy to me, but I just, I want to touch it and I want to like, who knows? Who knows if they work very well? But yeah, I'd probably pick up this poppy pink shade. I'm just so curious. I'm so curious. Uh, okay. And then the next thing. I just threw in here um, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I like those um, contour, not contour, those um, highlighter wands. Um, I haven't used them in a long time. I should pull those out again. I think I have one or two of them. And yeah, anyways, I've been wanting to try the contour. I've also been using cream products lately. Um, I have not been using cream blushes. I've been using powder blushes, but I don't know. I've just been trying to use less powder recently. And so I think it would be interesting to try that as a contour um, rather than... Why am I into contouring? It's just fun. I don't know. It's fun. Uh, not that I think anything is wrong with my face or that I need to fix it or anything. It's just, it's, it's fun to sort of shape things and just see what kind of shapes you can get. And I don't know how dramatic you can make things. That's, that's how I feel about it. Um, it's like being a character or it's putting on makeup, you know, it's, eh, it's just fun. It's fun. Um, and then, okay, I'm going to save that for a lot of this stuff. <laughs> it's, it's totally ridiculous. Okay, and then there's, I've been wanting to try this Natasha Denoni, N Natasha Denona uh, mini dream glow blush. It just looks really flattering and beautiful. And I've just wanted to try it and I haven't picked it up because I'm like, how many blushes? How many blushes do I need? But a thousand dollars yes I would just throw it in the cart okay so I think that's at about four hundred dollars or something at this point almost and um okay so I totally want to try <laughs> I want to try this I want to try this but I don't want to buy it I do not want to buy it but if someone gave me thousand dollar gift card to Sephora I think this would be in my cart um and that is the Dyson Airwrap multi styler complete long because clearly I need I mean it's just like never ending hair I need the the long of everything um and I want to try it I want to try it so bad <laughs> um but it's $599 like what that but if I had a thousand dollars just given to me you know um by Sephora sure hundred dollar gift card I mean thousand dollar gift card um yeah I would totally get this I want to I want to try it and basically that that's that's almost a thousand dollars it brings me to like What's the total on the cart? 967. So um, I guess I would just save that $33 for something else. Or maybe I would get like 
one more each of my um, mascaras. So yeah, um, that was pretty short and quick actually because of the Dyson Airwrap. <laughs> and, and honorable mention, um, I would have put this in the video actually. Um, and that's the Danessa Myricks um, Light Work Volume 5. Uh, but unfortunately, it is out of stock, which I'm a little worried means it's just gone because usually I feel like the Danessa Myricks stuff is. Um, like those palettes have just been kind of limited edition. They happen and they don't really restock. So I might have missed out on that one, y'all. I guess I could look at like Beautylish and stuff. There may, it may be available somewhere, maybe the Danessa Myricks website. But anyways, uh, that's my video for today. Just a, just a quick little walk down like fantasy lane, um, slash the Sephora online aisle. Speaking of, I just want to talk about this real quick since we have time. Um, why, why do Sephora's have to be so scented? I kind of can't go in them. I'm really sensitive to fragrance. And I mean, I don't know if it's just from like perfume being sprayed, but it doesn't seem like I see people spraying perfume in there all the time. I think they're pumping in fragrance. And unfortunately, it basically means I can't go there. Which I used to really like going to Sephora. And I don't know if I've gotten more sensitive or if there's been more fragrance in the air, but... Sephora, if you're watching, maybe just tone it down just a little bit. Cause like I'll walk out of there and I'll just smell like Sephora until I take a shower. And I don't, I don't want that. Maybe some people do. And that's totally cool. Um, but for me, it's just, it's like, I can't, like I get a sore throat and I get nauseous and I get a headache and unfortunately it doesn't work out for me. Um, anyway, that was my PSA about, um, people who are sensitive to fragrance. <laughs> Sephora's so I tend to buy things online from Sephora uh but every once in a while I want to go in there you know because it's fun anyway thank you so much for being here hope you enjoyed this video um let me know what your wish list is would you get the Dyson Airwrap <laughs> does anyone have one do you like it is it worth $600 I really seriously doubt I would ever buy it but I'm so curious I want to know I want to know all right. I hope you're having a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way if we keep on the sunny side alive.